Help. Help. Spot her. So as you guys know, I like to pump iron. So today, we're at David Lloyd and I'm about to take you through my strength and conditioning routine. So today I'm going to do squats, deadlifts, uh, calf raises, um, single leg press, some lunges and uh, some squats but kind of when you go up got for like one leg like that which uh, in, like, um, is similar to running technique so it enforces like good running technique and uh, that will be it so not, a, not loads if you think about the amount of work you do in a normal run bike session but obviously it's uh, intense because they're quite heavy weights. So this is the one that I'm going to do the calf raises on. Like ideally you'd like sit down and do it in a, on a seated calf raise, but they don't have the machine here. So um, this is the next best thing. So if your gym doesn't have a seated calf raise machine, uh, one of the tips is to get it so your foot's not too far up because you won't be able to engage your calf. So you want to have your foot as low as you kind of can but with it in control and then it's almost like you try and tiptoe. So I'm just trying to use my calf as much as I can, not my quad. So I have my leg bent a bit and then I just kind of like move my, move my foot as if I was going to try and go onto my tiptoes and uh, you should really feel it here on the calf, like you can see it's, enge it's engaged, loosens off a bit as it comes down, and then I'm really putting a lot of um, pressure on it doing that. Add it up. Normally people take the piss out of people for taking pictures, in, uh, in the mirror at a gym and I've come in here with, uh, with the GoPro on the machine Laura with the camera in hand it's like, it's like Tom Cruise is in here or something <laughs> so I've got 70 kilos on here and uh, just going to start off doing some single leg press so nothing um, too OTT but this is quite a good one because obviously it's run specific because when you're running you're only on one leg at a time so um, really good one for, uh, for running and basically start with the, I'll start with my right leg first and sit back, bring the leg so it goes to about there and then up, but don't fully lock out so you're constantly keeping the pressure on the whole time like until uh, this leg's under like some kind of uh, strain. And again, I'll start off with six reps on this. Okay, all right. got 170 kilos on there <laughs> for this one uh, 70 take the one off <laughs> so I'm just doing deadlifts here um, just started off with like 60 kgs um, making sure I get the technique right and for anyone who's thinking of doing it that's the main thing because you can really uh, screw yourself up if you uh, bend your back and uh, do it wrong so starting off with 60 and then I'll probably add 10 kilos on each time um, main aim is just because I've only been doing these for about the last four or five weeks now just making sure I get the technique really good before um, you know you progress it too quickly and uh, cause yourself an injury it's good for power on the bike um, really engaged engages your glutes hamstrings um, honest, you feel it on your core as well um, and your lower back so really good for cycling power and um, I think, to be honest, I think it's good for running as well. I always notice it, like after I've been doing strength and conditioning for quite a while, that I'm running really, uh, really well. Like 5K, 10K and everything gets a lot faster off it. Um, but yeah, really good for cycling power in particular. 
and also just injury prevention. You know, um, just uh, good for good for everything really, and you should just add it into your to your training. Right, next one spots. This is a really controversial one. Uh, a lot of the gym people really say that you you know if you're doing squats, you need to go really deep. You know, as far as you go. Whereas uh, for endurance sports and supplement endurance training cycle and stuff. Uh, they say that you don't need to go as far, you know, literally just going to like probably here is good enough. Um, probably it's about there from what I've been told. But really controversial, whenever you post stuff with squats, you always get people saying not going deep enough. Um, but depends what you're training for really. If you want to do squats like a power lifter, then yeah, you're not. But if you're doing it to supplement, you cycle and run this different ball game. But I'm sure I'm going to get a load of abuse for what I do. <laughs> So um, last year I think I got an injury partly from doing squats. Um, I had um, an instructor who was telling me to go deeper than what my previous one was telling me to, you know, so really deep. And I think it put a lot of pressure on my uh, uh, hip flexors and obviously not being flexible enough. It kind of did something to it and then we rehearsed with like more running and uh, stuff like that and then again going back into the gym and going too deep for what I was actually capable of it just put a lot of pressure on that and I ended up getting an injury right in here right deep and um, took me out for about three months I was unable to, to run luckily I could swim and uh, bike but it really uh, affected my season last year because I couldn't race in I think it was June, July uh, May, June, July so three key months was unable to so just one thing to bear in mind when you're doing it, you know, you can go really deep, but if you're not flexible enough and you end up put, getting yourself injured for three months, was it worthwhile? No. So for this one, I'm going to do lunges. Um, and as I come up from the lunge, I lift one of my legs up as if I'm running uh, and I like hold it there and then step forward with the other leg and then lift the, uh, the next knee up as I come through. So you're kind of doing a lunge and then into like a running uh, pose. So as you can see, I struggled on a few of them ones. It's uh, a lot harder than what it looks, that one. Not from a physical point of view, um, with, with the weight, but just in terms of like balance and posture. But that's so important when you're running because when you're running, you're effectively balancing on one, one leg um, and then bringing the other one through. So it's really good for running because specific is uh, being on one leg and then putting the power out uh, as you do, the, uh, you know, as you would when you run, when you put a strike out. So uh, really good for that. And what I think you find is a lot of people that have had injuries, normally it's because they're not engaging their glutes properly and they really struggle on this one because they find that they just can't get the balance. They're shaking all over the place. So really good for injury prevention this one and much harder than what it looks in terms of balance if you're doing this one right then you'll probably find that you don't get many injuries and uh, you're, you're a decent runner whereas if you're quite injury prone you'll probably struggle on this one i reckon so the club's now about to close but i've got one last exercise to do and that's pull-ups something i've only just started doing this winter um haven't done it before so i'm interested to see whether or not it will help my swimming uh, you see see it on lots of swim specific plans they always say uh, pull up press up stuff like that so it's one thing that i'm introducing to my uh, gym routine don't laugh <laughs> <laughs> come on jan how many can you do <laughs> can you do this line up <laughs> <laughs> How many can you do, Lionel? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so much harder than what I, uh, what I remember. <laughs> so as you can see, the lights are off, everyone's gone home, and I'm still here, still grafting, putting the work in. <laughs> so, you saw uh, what I was doing today in the gym. 
Uh, it's not all the exercises I do normally, but you can only do so many in one session, otherwise you're just going to be rehearsing bad technique or you're going to be too fatigued. So I'll normally come to the gym two, maybe three times at a push um, a week. I'll do more upper body sometimes, uh, but predominantly two of the three times will be focused on the legs. Um, and I'll do some other exercises that aren't in here, which maybe I could cover another time, but today you just saw um, what, uh, most of my staple exercises, the squats, deadlifts, they'll pretty much be in every, in every session. I hope you guys liked um, the session and uh, it'd be good if you can apply some of these exercises to your own training. If you do, um, comment below, let me know how you get on with them and uh, if there's any specific questions you've got on any of the exercises you saw today. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.